Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girlgut. Today we're making something relatively quick and relatively simple. And it's basically a fried milk bread with a parmesan cream on it and some grated black truffle on top of that. It's a great kind of starter or amuse-bouche that I've had in two restaurants here in Zurich. They both belong together. Um, and it's Neue Taverne and Bauernschenke here. And I'm, I'm not sure if this is how they make it, but I'm gonna make it with choco pan. Uh, and I'm making the cheese cream uh, like a Monet sauce. Um, so let's have a look at what we have here on the board. That's not, not, that's not that many ingredients. But before we do that, as always, if you're not a subscriber yet, do me the favor, click the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications. Now, let's have a look. So we have a slice of our milk bread. Um, I'll put the link here to my milk bread recipe. Um, there's a lot of recipes out there, but I feel that the one I have is a very simple recipe and never really goes wrong. So check that out. Uh, we have our black truffle. And for our Parmesan cream, um, we have some butter. It's 10 grams of butter and 10 grams of flour. So equal quantities and a deciliter of milk. And then we have our Parmesan that we're just going to grate as well. But let's start with the Mone or the Parmesan cream. And then we'll, well, we'll, we'll plate up after that because I'm not going to show you how to fry the bread. I'm just frying it in a bit of butter um, and you can do that yourselves but uh, I'll show you how to make the sauce. For our sauce, we first need to melt the 10 grams of butter. It's melted nicely, so we put in our flour. You don't want to burn it or color it, you just want it to fry off a bit. Now we add the milk. Start with half of it. And the rest. You want to make sure that it's not lumpy, so whisk it nicely. Now we can turn down the heat. And we start to put in our parmesan. You want it quite cheesy, but it's it's up to taste how much you add. For me, I would say this is about two handfuls. Now the parmesan is a bit salty, so you don't need a lot of salt, but a little bit. And a little bit of white pepper, as well as a little bit of nutmeg. Now we'll give this a little taste to make sure that the seasoning is right. And it's perfect. Our three components are ready. We have our parmesan cream, the truffle and the bread that we fried. So now we are just gonna add the Parmesan cream to this and then grate the truffle on top. But before we get going with that, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you like. So do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button below. Now let's put this on here. You wanna try to spread it out to cover the whole top like that. Now for the truffle. Don't be stingy. Now doesn't that look nice? The good thing is you can eat them by hand. So let's dig in. Bon appetit. This is, it is a bit perverse, I have to say. But you have the spectacular kind of umami coming from the Parmesan cream. The nice punch of truffle. I wouldn't even say hint of truffle. It's a punch of truffle on a wonderfully soft and rich kind of milk bread or chocopan. Definitely worth a try if you like truffle. Um, and I'm sure your guests will, will love this uh, for an opera as well. 
Well, that's it for today. It was a short one, I know, but uh, at least I hope I could teach you something or at least maybe give you some inspiration. Um, but before we go, do me the favor, if you're not subscribing yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon, please. That's it. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.